Hi, my name is Sam, and today we're going to learn how to use the camera orbit feature in Aviso. So to start out, we first need to open a data set. So we're going to click on Open Data, and we're going to go down to Teddy Bear and select all the slices, just like that. Click Open, OK, and there we go. So for this tutorial, we don't need the ortho slice, but we do want to have a volume rendering. So we're going to right click on Teddy Bear and just search for volume rendering, just like that. And we're going to edit the volume rendering so that it looks good. All right, there we go. That looks good to me. So the next step is we're just going to move it around so it's facing us. And then we're going to right click and create object. And we're going to create a camera orbit object. All right, so now that we have a camera orbit object, let's go through how to use it. So to start out, there are these four buttons. So first, this is the step forward button. This allows you to step forward one frame or degree in your animation, just like that. You can also play the animation by clicking this play button, stop it. You can go back one frame with this button and play backwards with this button. All right, so next we're going to go over this action line. So first, what recompute does is it sets whatever your current orientation and viewpoint is to the time zero in the viewer. So if we move it to here and click recompute, our time zero is now this, and it will rotate from this orientation. It also recomputes it whenever you go through the directions drop down. With this in mind, I suggest whenever you click recompute or change the direction, to just already have it at time zero so you don't get confused. And now let's try some of the different directions. So let's try the x-axis direction. So now it rotates it along the x-axis. So the camera orbit object is separate from the animation director, but we can always use the animation director to animate it just like any other object in Aviso. So now let's go to the animation director and we're going to name the animation camera orbit, just like that and click enter. And we're going to animate the time slider of the camera orbit object. So we're going to click on time and click on time value. We want the camera orbit to be at time zero at our animation director's time zero. And our animation director time five, we want the camera orbit time to be all the way done at 360. So then we're just going to add another keyframe in. So now it's at 360 there. So now let's go back to the beginning and see how it looks. And click play. So now we can see it animates it going around the x-axis, just like it's shown there. So one thing to note is that if you want to do multiple different camera orbits, you need multiple different camera orbit objects, and you'll need to animate them each individually. All right, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.